Osorio and we will have grade 8 mathematics today and our lesson for today is about equation of a line given the slope and a point. In this lesson, we will learn how to find the equation of a line given the slope and a point. So the formula to get the equation of a line given the slope and a point is y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. This formula is known as the point-slope form of the equation of a line. Let's have example. Number 1. Find the equation of a line with slope 2 and passes through 1, 3. First, let us write down the given m is equal to 2, that is the slope, and then our given point is 1, 3. And then we will assign value of x sub 1 and y sub 1 since we only have one point. Okay, next, write the formula to get the equation of a line given the slope and a point. You should remember this formula uh, to find the equation of a line if the given is slope and a point. y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is to substitute the given slope and point. That will be y minus the value of y sub 1 is 3 is equal to the value of m or our slope is 2 times the quantity x minus the value of x sub 1 is 1. So this is by substitution. Okay, after substituting the value of the slope and the point in the given formula, we need to multiply 2 to x minus 1. Okay, so that is 2 times x, it will be 2x followed by 2 times negative 1, that is negative 2. This process is known as distributive property. So we need to distribute 2 to x minus 1. Okay, after using distributive property, uh, we are now going to find the equation wherein only variable y can be seen in the left side of the equation. So, meron tayong negative 3 na nakalagay dito. So, we are going to think of positive or additive inverse of negative 3. So, that is positive 3. So, that will be y minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 2x minus 2 plus 3. So, we need to add positive 3 to both sides of the equation, and that is by the use of APE. So we are all familiar with APE because uh, this is commonly used in finding the equation of a line and solving equation. Now let us simplify. So this will be y is equal to 2x plus 1. Naging plus 1 na lang because negative 2 plus 3, it is positive 1. So our equation now is y is equal to 2x plus 1. Okay, so pwede rin naman natin yung ilipat into or change it into standard form. Okay, so number 2. Find the equation of the line with slope negative 4 and passes through negative 2, negative 6. The same process. First, write down the given slope is negative 4 or m is negative 4. And the given point is negative 2, negative 6. Assign value for x sub 1, y sub 1. 
and then write our formula. Okay, so that is y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. The same process as the first example. Just substitute the value of the slope and the point. That will be y minus negative 6 is equal to negative 4 times the quantity x minus negative 2. So, dito makikita natin na uh, nag-minus pa tayo sa negative. We can simplify this into uh, y plus 6. It becomes y plus 6 becomes negative times negative. It will be positive. So, in this case, this is now y plus 6 is equal to negative 4 times the quantity x plus 2. Okay, we just simplify them. And then the next process is we need to multiply negative 4 to x plus 2. The same process. So we need to multiply first negative 4 times x, negative 4x. Negative 4 times 2, negative 8. And that is by the use of distributive property. Okay, now we need to use APE again. We need to think of the additive inverse of positive 6. Okay, so that is negative 6. We need to add negative 6 to both sides of the equation. That is why it becomes y plus 6 minus 6 is equal to negative 4x minus 8 minus 6. And let us just simplify it. This will be y is equal to negative 4x minus 14. It becomes negative 14 because negative 8 minus 6 is negative 14. So this is our equation of the line. Okay, so don't forget a formula to get the equation of a line given a point and a slope. So that is known as the point-slope form of equation of the line. And that's all for this video. I hope you learned something. See you next time.